Hey guys, long time no see. <laughs> um, actually wanted to apologize and say I'm really sorry if for any of you guys that have been following this series and uh, has been watching these videos on the compound effect. I, if you notice, I haven't posted in quite some time. And well, first of all, I was on a trip in Europe for like, months backpacking you know which actually was amazing and wonderful experience by the way and that took some of my time and then i got back home and i've just been busy with other projects and family responsibilities and all this stuff you know i'm sure you know what i'm talking about so pretty much life kind of got in the way so i just wanted to give like a quick apologies <laughs> to anybody that's been following the series and you know, was wondering like, hey, you know, it's been so long, what happened, you know? Did you bail out or something, you know? But no, that's not the case. And I'm super happy to be back. And I wanna get back on this, on this book, which is A Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. So I'm glad to be back. And I hope you guys are ready to listen to this awesome book. So I'm ready to read it. So let's get right to it, okay? So this next chapter is called Getting Lucky, and here it goes. Maybe you believe you're simply unlucky, but really, that's just another excuse. The difference between becoming fabulously rich, happy, and healthy, or broke, depressed, and unhealthy is the choices you make throughout life. Nothing else will make the difference. Here's the thing about luck. We're all lucky. If you are on the right side of the dirt, have your health and a little food in your cupboard, you are incredibly lucky. Has a point. Everyone has the opportunity to be lucky because beyond having the basics of health and sustenance, luck simply comes down to a series of choices. When I asked Richard Branson, if he felt luck played a part in his success, he answered, yes, of course, we are all lucky. If you live in a free society, you are lucky. Luck surrounds us every day. We are constantly having lucky things happening to us, whether you recognize it or not. I have not been any more lucky or unlucky than, than anyone else. The difference is when luck came my way, I took advantage of it. That's the key. Ah, spoken like a man knighted with wisdom. While we're on the topic, it's my belief that the old adage we often hear, luck is when opportunity meets preparation, isn't enough. I believe there are two other critical components to luck. So he gives this formula right here. And it says, Preparation, personal growth, plus attitude, belief slash mindset, plus opportunity, a good thing coming your way, plus action, doing something about it, equals luck. Here, let me show you the, if you could see that right there, that's the, the formula Dar Darren Hardy gives to in his opinion, creates actual luck. So continuing, preparation. By consistently improving and preparing yourself, your skills, knowledge, expertise, relationships, and resources, you have the wherewithal to take advantage of great opportunities when they arise, when luck strikes. Then you can be like Arnold Palmer who told Success Magazine, it's funny, it's a funny thing. The more I practice, the luckier I get. <laughs> now, attitude. This is where luck evades most people and where Sir Richard is spot on with his belief that luck is all around us. It's simply a matter of seeing situations, conversations, and circumstances as fortuitous. You cannot see what you don't look for and you cannot look for what you don't believe in. Very true. And now opportunity. It's possible to make your own luck, but the luck I'm talking about 
here isn't planned for, or it comes faster or differently than expected. In this stage of the formula, luck is enforced. It's a natural occurrence, and it often shows up seemingly of its own accord. Spiritual things being at play, possibly. So now action. This is where you come in. However, this luck was delivered to you from the universe. God, there you go. The lucky charms, leprechaun, or whomever or whatever you associate delivering your good fortune. It's now your job to act on it. This is what separates the Richard Branson from the Joseph Wallingtons. Joseph who? Exactly. You've never heard of him. That's because he failed to take action on the lucky things that happened to him. So no more whining about the cards you were dealt, the great defeats you suffered, or any other circumstances. Countless people have more disadvantages and greater obstacles than you, and yet they're wealthier and more fulfilled. Luck is an equal opportunity distribution. Lady Luck shines on all, but rather than having your umbrella overhead, you've got to have your face to the sky. When it comes down to it, it's all you, baby. There's no other way around it. All right. So, I don't know what you guys think about that, but for me, it's true. It resonates, you know. I know we all have had our difficult times and, like he said, some difficult cards dealt, you know. Disadvantages, traumas, messed up childhoods and all this stuff. I mean, believe me, me too included. But I, I truly believe when we focus on these things, on these negative things that happen to us in our lives, it really limits us and holds us back from truly achieving greatness or the life of our dreams that we truly desire, you know? Because at the end of the day, I believe we're all truly created equal, yes our situations and uh, living experiences might differ from some. But like he said, Darren Hardy, that there's some people, oh, I think he said this, but if not, I'm saying it. There's some people that are, grow up with very uh, fortuitous uh, backgrounds or upbringings and still are not successful or happy or healthy or even good people. Plain and simple, you know? So it could go both ways. You could have a really messed up childhood or difficult upbringing and whatnot in your life, but you could still be super successful and live a fulfilling life, you know? So I think the key is to focus on the positives and not get stuck and associate ourselves, our identities, with all the negative things that happen to us or, or are happening to us in our lives. That's just my opinion, guys, really. Speaking from my own personal experience, I would love to hear your guys' uh, opinions as well. You know, I, I believe it's, it's nice to hear other people's experiences and just learn and grow from each other. I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> That's what we do as people, right? So social creatures is we learn from each other, right? So if you have anything to share, share it, man. I'm sure there's many people that would really love to hear what you have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll continue with the series. I'm back and I ain't going anywhere anytime soon. So I will continue these stories these chapters and sharing all this wisdom and knowledge with you guys okay hopefully it helps you guys and if it did please please hit the like button i would really appreciate that and it would really help this video to get pushed out to other people so thanks again much love to you guys peace my friends